Hey everyone, it's Julian from the blog What's the Point? Today I'm going to tell you about a product I discovered at CES 2024, a digital voice recorder called the Plode Note. He's juiced up with some artificial intelligence and GPT chat. During the CES at their booth, I was able to have a good chat with the company Plode. They provided me with the opportunity to test the product, therefore they sent it to me without charge. I did not receive any payment for this, as I am too insignificant to be compensated for creating a video. We did not make any specific requests regarding the product. I had a significant number of questions, and we will examine it at a later time. So I received this product, it's been almost a month now, if you follow me on social media, I was able to post a photo. A considerable number of friends and colleagues have reacted, expressing curiosity about what it was since it can actually be very helpful and advantageous from a professional standpoint. So what do we have in the unpacking of this bunch of notes? The box is pretty straightforward in any case without any complications or complexities. When we unpack automatically, we come across our little Plode note, which is the device that is present here for recording the voice. It is used to record the voice and serves as a tool for capturing audio. As you can see, it's something that is very small. Credit card format with a thickness of 3mm. Then, upon opening, we'll also have a little pouch, a little MagSafe storage pouch. So MagSafe, which refers to the magnets designed for iPhone, allows us to conveniently store the Plode note and securely attach it to the back of a phone using its magnetic properties. Inside, we will always possess the charging cable. Regrettably, it is a proprietary cable, so you will need to be cautious not to misplace it. Comes with a USB-A base, which is provided with an adapter for USB-C connectivity. And the charging process is conducted using magnets. Oops. I am going to reach that destination in a reverse manner. There you go, right here. So even with the case, you still have the capability to charge the Plode note, ensuring uninterrupted usage and convenience. So in order to elaborate on the technical features of this Plode note, it is important to mention that it is a device equipped with a microphone, of course, as well as a button that can be used to start or stop recording. Additionally, it includes a small switch that allows for seamless transition between recording notes and recording phone voice, providing users with versatile functionality and convenience. On a small device, you might think the battery life isn't great, yet it's still rated for 60 days on standby and 30 hours of recording. In terms of storage capacity, since we record directly on this little device, we have a capacity of 64 GB. So that's 480 hours of recording. So you're going to provide me with an explanation of why it is beneficial to invest in a device like this for the purpose of recording your voice, notes, or phone calls. Initially on smartphones, call recording is not built in, and I even believe that on iPhone it is not available at all. In fact, I think it's a feature that many users would find handy and beneficial possibly on Android, but certainly not to the best of my knowledge on iPhone, as far as I know. We possess some truly excellent microphones at this location. Is that acceptable? These microphones have direct internal storage, which means that we will not create a mess in the storage of your iPhone or smartphone by saving voice recordings. We will have the ability to store that for the entire day, check in, make notes, and then unload all of it in one go without any limitations. So, Similar to, in order to unload, re-download all of the notes, we are going to initiate the launch of the application. I'm going to do it here with you with my phone. And you can see that here we have the little device that can be connected. In this position, I am connected and can see the different microphone options, etc., along with the indicators for recording. And I am going to show you another video that I made just prior where I actually recorded the final note that I had recorded previously in a previous video. So in this case, as you can see, I am logging into the device. The connection is automatically established via Bluetooth. We are planning to acquire the audio in order for the device to be able to carry out the transcription process. 
If you mainly want to record large files that last several minutes or even hours, it's better to use the Wi-Fi, which may be built in. So basically the note plan here is going to emit a little Wi-Fi, we're going to log in, we're going to retrieve much faster. A memorandum or multiple memoranda, all the memoranda that have been written on that particular day. Upon completion of the download, we will proceed to specify whether the note is in French, thereby indicating the language of the note as well as its type. This valuable information will undoubtedly greatly assist the GPT chat prompt in accurately interpreting the summary provided. The transcript is sent. The transcription doesn't happen locally, it doesn't happen on the phone, it happens in the cloud. We will discuss features at a later time, particularly focusing on the subscription that is necessary in order to utilize this small device. The process of transcription is completed and subsequently the generation of summary and mind map is initiated automatically. So nothing could be easier in terms of using it. In terms of quality, the audio transcription is almost perfect. It will definitely depend on the context of use. As for me, I personally utilized it in a professional context of my work. Of course, in the professional world, we're going to use acronyms, abbreviations, specific words that may not always be recognized. I must admit, I was genuinely impressed with the transcription, especially the clever use of acronyms throughout the document. So, unfortunately, I can't show you since, as it's in a professional setting, it remains confidential, especially right now when I'm involved in the banking world. Consequently, I employed this device to document the meetings and make written notes of the proceedings that took place during the meetings. So everything that was an abbreviation or initialism recognized it quite well. Regrettably, certain words did not. Well, that's a shame. We should be able to, and that's not a feature that exists, we should be able to resume the transcription. Rectify the transcription in order to subsequently have summaries that are error-free and free from mistakes. Following the transcription, we possess, as I previously mentioned, the summary. The summary essentially entails ChatGPT's process of summarizing the transcription. And there it is clearly mind-blowing. It's impressive because from the transcription of the conversation, he is going to extract the different topics of discussion. He's going to come up with action plans and determine the actions that need to be taken based on the analysis of the conversation. So once again, from a professional viewpoint, it is simply mind-blowingly efficient in terms of its effectiveness. Previously, during an exceptionally lengthy and significant one and a half hour meeting, the summary was completely accurate. Well, my colleagues who knew I was recording because you have to give a heads up, asked me for the raw summary of each GPT. Of course, since I didn't send the meeting summary directly from each GPT, I reworked it, but it already saved me a ton of time. All of my co-workers were pleasantly surprised by this summary, which was truly of very good quality and exceeded our expectations. On the mind map, the mind map, on the other hand, clearly falls short of expectations, as it currently only includes a summary headings and different action plans, leaving much to be desired in terms of comprehensive content and detailed information. So I do not actually consider it a mind map, but instead more like a summary of the summary. So. As I mentioned earlier, this device operates effectively due to the utilization of ChatGPT technology. So why ChatGPT, of course, since it's going to reinterpret all the conversations and the text that has been transcribed. The subscription is priced at approximately 7 to 10 euros per month. This is due to the availability of a one year package, which costs 75 euros and provides a year of usage. The package includes a limit of 600 minutes per month, equivalent to 10 hours, which is still a considerable amount of time. When you buy the Plode Note, you're getting it for 149.95 euro, and it already includes three months of AI subscription service. That was for the presentation, just a little bit of usage. So there's no need to continue discussing usage for an extended period. You've understood the simplicity well. 
there isn't a significant amount of usefulness. Now why and for whom would you use this kind of product? So first of all, why? Because of course there are times when we need to quickly record notes, voice memos, or even capture an entire meeting. And that's where these tools are becoming more and more integrated in the market. So I'm speaking for those who use Teams. So from Microsoft, the Microsoft suite is going to come with Copilot. So it will be the integrated GPT chat to precisely take meeting notes. So that's really something that's going to happen more and more. The meeting, recording, note taking, whether it's for a student, the students who will be able to record and summarize the classes, I find it pretty crazy. For doctors, once again, I still remember seeing my godfather recording on voice memos all the time, non-stop, constantly. And there you have it. So in my opinion, I believe that the audio quality of the device will truly surpass the audio quality of a smartphone, maybe. This is based on my assessment and comparison of the two. iPhones definitely have high quality microphones, but are they also good for recording conversations? I don't know like that. So why have an extra device when the smartphone can still function as a dictaphone without any issues? There's a dictaphone feature on all smartphones. Once again, it's all about simplicity of use. I have my device attached to the back of my smartphone and I need to record a conversation. To do so, I just press the button. It is a simple and straightforward process, as easy as that. I need to record a phone conversation. I am going to come and flip the little switch, then I will press the button to start recording the call. Once more, it is entirely transparent to all, including the individual who is registered in the system, leaving no room for ambiguity or doubt. Once again, it is better to give him a heads up. And we are not bothered either about a manipulation to be done on the screen. Or perhaps some notifications that could come and so on. So there you have it, simplicity of use right there. Another point that I raised with Plot, the manufacturer from Plot, the company, is what is the current status of data production and how is it being handled? Because it is evident in that specific location we are capturing personal data, such as recordings of voices. From an RGPD standpoint, for IT professionals, you may have already heard about the regulation concerning the protection of personal data and its impact on businesses and individuals. The voice is personal data since it potentially identifies a person. And the transcription, all the information that can be recorded during a meeting, for example, is considered to be confidential and should not be disclosed to unauthorized individuals. The response that I received from the company is that it is already a company that is being driven by Americans, as they mentioned in their communication. Does that give some legitimacy to data protection compared to the Chinese system? I wouldn't dare to venture into that. If it were a European company, perhaps I would have a slightly higher level of trust. However, they emphasized that data protection was of utmost importance to their solutions and ambitions, highlighting that every piece of information was securely encrypted and safeguarded. So accessible, not accessible from the outside. And in terms of data protection, it was based on the global standard in the United States. So listen up, once again, the overall standard in the United States is not the same and is more lenient, less strict, than the European General Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR, in Europe. To possess and take the risk that you desire to have regarding the use and handling of personal data in that particular context, that is of utmost importance. I want to make it abundantly clear, it is for me personally one of the key points that was highly questionable in terms of its suitability for professional utilization. For now, let's just say that I'm going to limit this use in professional terms, especially with my clients, since they also have to give their consent on this. To record people, obtaining consent is absolutely necessary, without a doubt. So as you can see, it is a truly remarkable product that offers great value. The result is really awesome, as I can show you here on the phone conversation. So once again, I'm not showing you professional conversations. 
I'm going to show you a private conversation I had with my little sister. Yo, as you can see on birthday chats and other similar occasions and so on and so forth and the like and whatnot. And thus, once more, it was a recording of a conversation that took place over the phone, just like it had been in the past. The audio capture is excellent, whether it's my own audio or, of course, when utilizing the Bluetooth connectivity feature for my sister's audio, the transcription too. What was pretty funny was that I was out for a walk with my dog. My dog ran away. And sure enough, in the conversation, you can see that the animal got lost at some point. I don't remember the exact words. I wasn't looking at my phone at that moment. You can see here on the screen the whole transcription and the mind map, which is pretty funny. So uh, that was just to show you. I'll also show you some other video screenshots of what the basic application can provide. So the examples that have been shown, what I was able to record, also the first few seconds from the beginning. But here we go again, whether it's for personal or professional use, the result, the quality is really top notch. Once again, when it comes to professional use, be careful with the data that will be provided to Plode and ChatGPT. I don't know, they didn't specify if it was a tenant, so a private version of ChatGPT that would allow not feeding ChatGPT for its LLM model. Is it a product that I recommend? Remarkable, it's an exceedingly great product. Once again, I've previously informed you about the downsides of that particular kind of product. However, for me, it is a product that I absolutely loved using, and I think I will keep using it for a lot of my note-taking once again in a well-regulated setting. There you have it, that was Julian. I hope you enjoyed the presentation of the product, the Plode Note. And don't hesitate to leave me any questions in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. See you soon.